if you add this little snippet of code to your site, you will instantly rank higher, get more clicks, and make more money. Now, what's this snippet of code? Well, it's called schema, schema markup. Now, the very first thing we need to do is understand what schema is. So I'm going to play a clip, an old clip of a video of mine, where I went over schema markup, their use cases, and how you can apply it to your own business. Okay? So please watch this little short clip, pay attention, because it's all going to make more sense when I come back. So play the clip. Today I want to talk a bit about schema markup. And first of all, let me tell you what this is and how this can benefit you and your website and your business. So basically, there's different types of schema. Uh, I'm going to show you one, which is the... Um, which is the how-to schema. As you can see here, if you search for how to rank in Google after all the ads, the, SERP that, the, the result that most calls your attention, of course, is this one. It has an image and a, a checklist, a step-by-step -step list. So these ones, this one is in second, but I can assure you that this one is the one that gets the most clicks. So if you click here, which I already did, uh, this is basically the, um, the list, okay? This is the site right here, which is a list, step one. So it is a, it's a how-to uh, guide, step one, has a bunch of text. Uh, step two, again, text, images, blah, blah, blah. So if you do uh, inspect uh, view, view page source, sorry, you can see that there is actually some schema. So as you can see, uh, you have different types of schema. Uh, this one is the organization schema, which I'll show you in a bit. But if you search through here, you'll find uh, the um, sorry, the uh, how-to schema, okay? This was just an example. I want to show you more examples before I actually tell you how, how to create these types of schema because if you, say, have a blog here and have a step-by-step -step list like this guy right here, uh, if you implement schema, the code in your website, you might uh, get uh, lucky, I guess, and have Google display your uh, how-to uh, like this. But let me, let's move on. Um, other types of schema are recipe schema. Uh, so if you say search for rice recipes, Google displays these ones. And if you click here, you're redirected to a website that most likely if you uh, inspect the element, you'll see that ha it has schema uh, somewhere. So let's, let's do it. And just do command F and type schema. And as you can see, we have schema right here. Okay. And as you can see, yeah, it has the organization type, which is basically a website or a business. And actually, this is the one for the, the theme, I guess. But if you scroll down here, oh, sorry. You can see that there is a recipe schema. So at type recipe, which is the one, which is one that is available as well as here. Okay. Now, again, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to show you more examples because I think this is valuable. There's event schema. So say events in Portland. Of course, you can go down here and click each one of these. But these ones get a bunch of attention. The, the idea with schema is to get your site highlighted in some way in the SERP so you get more clicks. So this is the, the good thing about schema. You get many more clicks. The one I showed you uh, for the recipe, rice recipes, there were like big images here. So you're most, most likely you're gonna click the images that will take you to the article instead of scrolling down and clicking one of the articles. Then um, say you write best PC monitor 2022. You also have here a list schema, okay? so. Um, so just like the previous one I showed you. Uh, and of course, all these websites get clicks, but I'm guessing this one uh, gets many more clicks. Okay, so the idea is to highlight your website with schema like this. And sorry if I'm repeating myself. Uh, and then another one, that's FAQ schema. So if you write, why is SEO important? This right here is FAQ schema. So the the, the, the FAQ, so the, the questions to your, the answers to your question, sorry, uh, appear directly in the SERP, so you don't need to click. But if you do click, as you can see, uh, this is the website, so it has why SEO is important, it has the question and the answer, the question and the answer. Okay, so and this appears directly on the SERPs. Okay, so this calls more attention to this uh, result, and this one has it as well. Okay, so just gonna double check if you do inspect um, view page source, sorry which I already did right here, you can see it has schema implemented as well. Okay, so now you know why it's important to have schema because it, in theory, gets more clicks to your website. How do you actually implement schema? Okay, so what you do is go uh, here. Uh, there are several tools that do this. Uh, this one is a good one. Technical, technicalseo.com, you go for tools and then schema markup generator. Say you have, for example, a 
uh, FAQ section or, or a recipe or whatever, video product. There's a bunch of schema, local businesses. This one, I think I have a video on this, but if I, I don't, I'll, I'll record one in the future. But if you have a local business, you need, uh, you need to uh, insert local business schema in your website, okay? It gets you a ton of advantage, advantages, sorry. Now, say you want to do uh, how a fa FAQ page, okay? Like the one we saw previously, where the results were directly in the uh, SERPs. What you do is, choose it right here, then what you do is go to your FA FA FAQ page, sorry. So you need to have, you need to have an FAQ page created uh, beforehand, okay? So otherwise this doesn't make sense. So this right here, you write the first question on your FAQ page. I don't think yeah I don't have an FAQ page on my website, but if I did, I'll just copy the first question here. So uh, let's do why is SEO important, for example, because it gets you more business. Okay, but like I said, this would be uh, you'd have to copy exactly what your FAQ page on your website uh, was about, or if you chose, for example, a a recipe or whatever product uh, event whatever it needs to be the same as you have it on your website of course otherwise it wouldn't make any sense okay so you can add more questions whatever what you do then is you copy this code and you go to um google sorry this is in portuguese you go to uh, google rich results uh, tool and you just go to the code you paste it in and you test the code and basically this tool will just double check if the tool you use to generate the, the schema code is in the correct format so as you can see it is so this is a good tool like i said there are several so make sure if the the one you're using uh, is generates quality quality code okay and as you can see here faq detected uh this isn't properly uh, filled out like a, like i said this isn't like this looks like this looks very bad but yeah as you can see uh, it's valid um, so now what you do is um, you copy the code again and go to um, the website and go to the post where you did where you have the actual FAQ, which I don't have. And let's say this one was it. I don't even know what this is, but let's say this was the post with the FAQ. Go to text and just paste in the code and you just hit update and you're good. So now to double check if the schema was actually implemented. What you do is copy the URL, copy link address, and you go here and paste in the URL, test URL. And as you can see here, the FAQ schema is detected and it's valid. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. This is how you would get results like, like the ones I showed you before, like how to do SEO. This one is the um, how to schema, like again, they're the recipe ones how to cook rice or rice recipes, I think, yeah. So this is how you get stuff like this, okay? Or the FAQ one, which again, if you wanted to know how to cook rice, most likely you would click this ones instead of going scrolling down right here and clicking this ones, okay? So that's the idea behind uh, the schema markup and how it can help you and your business. Uh, something else, just I guess I can mention, if you wanna do some, um, uh, business, a local business scheme or organization, what you do is instead of doing that on, on a certain post like this, you go to the, at least in WordPress, you go to appearance, um, team editor, you go to the header and you place the code inside the, the body or the header, uh, either, either one works. And yeah, just, that's just basically a little, a little tip if you want to do, if you want to do the, um, um, local business or organization. So of course you wouldn't post it. You wouldn't post that on a single post. You would need to post it, uh, on the header or on the header so it goes throughout the whole, the whole website, okay? And yeah, that's uh, basically it. Right, there we go. So now you understand what this is, how it works and why it's beneficial. And so how does this tool that I'm showing right here matter for all this? Well, what this is, this is Arvo's uh, SEO agent, right? And what this is, there's a bunch of stuff, right? It, this AI agent, basically you add your site, as I see here, I just added my site, right? It analyzes a bunch of pages on my site. So in this case, it analyzed 50 pages. And it recommends us some SEO optimizations, as redundant as this sounds, right? For example, for page titles, you said, hey, listen, for this page right here, for the slash ghost page, which I'll open right here for you, right? Arvo.com slash ghost, which is basically just going over our uh, integration with this CMS called Ghost. Pretty simple page, okay, nothing out of the ordinary, okay? It says, hey, listen, your current page title is Ghost AI Writer. Try free now. 
and is suggesting we change it to AI powered SEO blog writer for Ghost. Free trial, our vote. And then gives us the why. Hey, listen, we think you should change this to this, and here's why. This title is more descriptive and includes relevant keywords like AI powered SEO blog writer and free trial, which are likely search terms for users looking for AI writing tools. It also maintains brand visibility, including Arvo, enhancing click through rates. And if I click apply, the AI agent will automatically go through my site and change the page title from this to this automatically. I can discard or apply, right? And based on what I apply and what I discard, the AI agent will learn for future recommendations. I can take all this and I can apply them all at once. So you don't need to go into your site and do all these technical optimizations because it takes a lot of work, right? Just let the AI do them for you and while telling you why it's doing certain optimizations. Because we could have simply just not included this here, right? We could just remove this right here. But we feel like, and I feel like, it's very important that if you're leveraging AI to know Know why AI is suggesting things. Know why it's doing this or that. Same thing for meta descriptions. That's the exact same thing, right? It goes through all the pages on your site, finds your current meta descriptions for certain pages, and it tells you, hey, listen, change it to this, and here's why. And you can click apply or discard. Again, no need to log in even to your site, right? Just click apply, and the AI agent will go to your site and change all this stuff for you in the blink of an eye. Canonic URLs, image alt text. I can assure you if you test this out right now, surely you have a bunch of images without alt text. How can I be so sure? Well, because even us, like this is our own site, and if you just wait a second right here, yeah, we have a bunch of images without alt text. So I can assure you, you do have some as well. Internal links, it's pretty cool. Let's say you have a big, big site with a bunch of pages, like blog page one, blog page two, a home page, a, a service page, right? The AI will run through all the pages on your site, right, and suggest you the best form to interlink certain pages with other pages. So it'd say, hey, listen, link, interlink this page, this blog page, using this anchor text with your home page. So it gives you all these internal linking opportunities. You can just click here, hit apply, and the AI will automatically build these internal links from uh, pages on your site. And going back to schema right here, it also does schema for you. It reads through your pages and finds, okay, is FAQ schema relevant for this page? If so, we can view the schema right here. And if you hit apply, this will automatically be applied to your site page just like that. Simple. Article schema as well. And we'll add many more schemas later on the line. But point being here is that all these like technical optimizations are a pain in the butt. <laughs> That's why we've built this AI agent to do them for you while at the same time telling you why it's doing it. I think that's the most important thing, right? And soon we'll have many more schemas and many more things right here. But just adding your site here, so going to Site Optimizer, click Create New Optimizer, add your site, select the language you want, right? And then select how many pages you want it to analyze. And just going over our AI agent's um, optimizations and suggestions, right, will 100% guaranteed improve your site's performance, okay? Because I can assure you, even us, we do this for a living. We have things we can optimize. We have internal links we can build. We have meta descriptions we can change. We have page styles we can change as well. Now, we might not agree with all these ones, that's why we can archive them, but the ones we agree with, we just hit apply. And this is a great way, if you're an agency, you have clients, just with, within like 24 hours, even less, optimize their whole technical SEO with just a few clicks. And these will translate in higher rankings, more clicks, more traffic, and in essence, more money to your site. So give it a go, go to arvo.com, try it out. And if you're skeptical about if any of this actually works, well, you can go to arvo.com, click on resources, click on a case studies, and there's a bunch of case studies right here from real, actual real brands, not just like fake stuff, real clients who use this to increase their traffic, because it just works. Doesn't matter if it's AI, doesn't matter if it's human, as long as you're optimizing for search, as long as you're doing a great job in your search engine optimization strategy, well, you're gonna rank higher. And so that's it, I'll leave links down below for all this for you to give it a go. If you want to try it out, just go to pricing, and actually, never mind, you can try it out for free, just go to the dashboard, login, you have a free, 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 you have like a free trial, so give it a go for free. If you want to get a paid subscription, well, before you buy anything, just ask the guys right here for a coupon code, the guys will hook you up with a coupon code, so don't worry too much about it, don't pay full price. Or if you want more SEO training, as well as a full year's access to this tool, just go to arvo.com slash academy, and you'll go to our academy page, which basically gives you a full year's access for free to Arvo, okay? There you go, full year's access for free, and also access to our AI Search Academy, which basically is a group of uh, courses, training materials, calls, and a bunch more resources to teach you how to do SEO, both for the classic Google and Bing search engines, as well as for these, these new AI-based LLM search engines like ChatGPT, Perplexity, Grok. I mean, there's, let me just scroll past all these case studies right here. How to build links, I'll do all this stuff, right? And a community, seven SEO courses, and a plugin. Like, I mean, you can scroll down right here. And also, of course, there's a 100% money back guarantee, so in case you don't like it, right, there's a refund, so 
I mean, we don't take your money if, we, if you don't like the product. So that's a great way, instead of just buying this SaaS, this product, just get a full free access, near access, excuse me, plus access to the academy. So yeah, that's it. Now this tool does a bunch more stuff, which I won't dive too deep into this right now, but I'll just, I'll let you know what my favorite feature is, and I, I won't even show you, because I want you to try it out. So my favorite feature, actually it's two. The first one is lead magnets. Again, I won't try it out, just give it a go for yourself and see what it is. And also the AI assistant, which is insane. We just released it like two days ago, which basically allows you to uh, speak with the article. So as if you had like this dedicated agency helping you improve your content. It's insane. So you go here to assistant and you can just communicate back and forth and say, hey, improve my intro. I don't like it, right? You can, you can go add it back and forth and improve the article. You can even select parts of it and say add links, add keywords, rewrite this, make it simple, make it longer, make it shorter. Like you can even add custom prompts like rhyme every word with orange or if you're more serious about it, like make sure this ranks for the keyword X, Y, Z, right? You can take images, you can, I mean, it's insane. I, I love this again, try it out, give it a go, I want to promote this uh, more. But a point of this video is just going over schema markup and how this little line of code can improve your site's traffic and improve it like way beyond your imagination. So yeah, give it a go, try it out. I'll leave all the links for this stuff down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.